So this is a totally integrated power module or tip M as people refer to them um, from a Dodge Caliber 2007. I just went squirrely. A whole lot of fun to take apart and put back together. Um, here's your housing which of course is not waterproof. See all these little holes up here in the top? Um, here let me see if I can backdrop them with the stove so you can see the white. But uh, yeah, none of those are waterproof. Um, none of it is. None of the connectors are. Just a really, I hate to say it, but it's a shoddy design. A flat out shoddy design. Complete piece of shit. Um, somebody in their infinite wisdom decided that regular relays and stuff were just too expensive. And what we end up with is a whole shitload of circuitry. Now here's where all your fuses go in. Um... And the reason I know mine went is because my wipers decided they weren't going to work in the front. And everything that you possibly can run into goes through this. Um, everything in the car, the, you know, it, it is the quote-unquote fuse box. Now these run you anywhere between uh, $375 and $600, $800. And then they charge you a couple hundred bucks to literally remove about 12, uh, 12 connectors off the back and then plug the new one in and... You know, what a bunch of bullshit. So, I took this one apart. There seems to be no obvious failures, which means it's something in the electronics internally. Usually I like to see things that are blown to bits. You know, make sure if, ands, or what's uh, a little easier to deal with. Here's your terminal where your battery connects. That's a uh, 13 millimeter in case anybody gives a rat. Uh, the only reason I know is I didn't have one handy at the time. Usually stick to my motorcycle vehicles, but this is one of those things that just tweaked my nerve to the point where I had to show you. So if you're going to buy a vehicle and it has a totally integrated power module, my answer to you is find something older. Because these little things, as they are so manufactured, at least this particular one is not waterproof. And it's in the engine compartment. You know, it's not like it gets wet in there. Oh wait, it does. Hmm. I guess somebody at Dodge Engineering never thought that electronics in an engine compartment could get wet. I think that's why historically fuse boxes have been in the passenger compartment. But hey, Dodge knows everything. So, to my engineer friends at Dodge, screw you, man. Screw you.